Hello again, guys, it's Chris. From planets made of incredible substances to those that simply have no explanation, join me as I reveal to you nine of the strangest planets ever. Number 9. Gliese 436b In the universe, there's a star called Gliese, and around that star are many planets, one of which is called Gliese 436b. But another term for this planet is the burning ice cube. And why is it called that? Well, literally speaking, the planet is a giant ice cube. It's composed of ice from the surface down. However, the temperature of the planet is a scorching 439 degrees Celsius. For comparison, that's 822 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 times what a standard hot day is on Earth. Hearing this, the obvious question becomes, how can the surface of the planet be so hot yet still be frozen? It's because of the composition of the planet itself. There's so so much water in Gliese 436b that the flaming hot temperatures don't affect the ice as much as you would expect. This is combined with the gravity of the planet, which is so strong that it actually compacts the water molecules in such a way that they cannot be burnt and thus can't be evaporated. Well, that's pretty cool, huh? Number 8. Gliese 581c not to be confused with 436b, Gliese 581c is a planet that could potentially support life should we make it that far in space travel. However, the condition of the planet itself would make it rather hard to settle long term. This is mostly due to its position to its sun, making the planet literally one of two extremes. To be specific, one side of Gliese 581c is always facing the sun, while the other never gets to see it. This makes one side of the planet roasting hot, and the other is so cold that it said you would instantly freeze after being exposed to it. What's truly a mystery is how this planet has any life at all, and yet there is a small stretch of land that could support life if we could get to it and find out. And why not? But since this is literally a small stretch of land, one that is very literally in between the extremes of this planet, living there would be difficult for numerous reasons. The biggest one being that if we did try and grow our own plants from Earth on Gliese 581c, they would have to be adapted to the red dwarf star, which is smaller and less powerful than our own sun. Not to mention it would have to adapt to different radiation that's being bombarded on the planet. Yet despite its strange habitats, many scientists do believe that we could settle there. I'm not personally going to call dibs on this one, though. Maybe you want to try. Number 7. HD 189733b In this universe, there is a place called HD 189733b, and this is a planet that rains glass sideways. If you're confused as to how this can happen at all, well, you're not alone. The glass itself comes from the atmosphere, which has a high concentrate of silica, a component very common on Earth. So when it rains down on the planet, it hardens and thus becomes glass. The winds on HD 189733b are incredibly intense and far beyond anything Earth or many other planets could do. In fact, they're so powerful that they can be up to 5,400 miles per hour. The force of this wind at such high speeds makes it so that the glass rain cannot fall straight down, and instead, it falls sideways. And after that shock, here comes number six. But first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and click that little notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 6. Kepler 10b On Earth, the planet's oceans are made up of water, but on the planet known as Kepler 10b, its oceans are made of lava. This planet is located 560 light years away from Earth itself, and it's actually the smallest exoplanet ever discovered. And an exoplanet, for reference, is a planet orbiting a star outside of the Earth's solar system. It was also the first rocky planet ever discovered outside of our solar system. What allows for the lava oceans on Kepler-10b is simple. The surface temperature of the planet can get up to a blistering 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is well beyond the melting point of most rocks, and thus lava is made, and built up until whole oceans are made of it. However, the whole planet is not just a pool of lava, and so many speculate that iron and other materials can be found on the planet itself. At this point, though, it's just speculation based on the information currently known. Number 5. 55 Cancri E. Planets are very much defined by what they're composed of. And for 55 Cancri E, that would be diamond. Yes, this is a literal planet made up of literal diamonds. 
So how did this come to be? The planet itself was actually a star in the beginning of its life. It was part of a binary system, which meant there were two stars in the area. Over the course of some time, the partner star tried to consume it, but since the star had carbon inside of it, the process couldn't be done completely. The enormous strain and pressure of the partner star instead turned 55 Cancri E into one made of diamonds, mostly. It's about one third pure diamond, with other materials making up the rest. That being said, even one third diamond is a very impressive feat for a planet of this size. 55 Cancri E is twice the size and eight times the mass of Earth. So when you do the math on the planet's size and the value of the diamond at current pricing, you get, get this, 26.9 no million dollars worth of diamonds. That's 30 zeros at that number. Though the rest of the universe is most unknown, this could make it the most valuable planet in all the known universe. And much of the unknown parts too. Number 4. Koro 7b. Koro 7b is another in a long line of planets that are tidally locked with the star that it's near. However, because of how it's affected by the star, the extreme conditions of the planet create an unusual byproduct when it rains. Rocks of magma. The side facing the sun has large pools of lava, but because it's so hot, the lava actually evaporates and goes into the atmosphere. And then it'll either stay on the hotter side of the planet or go to the other side, which is freezing cold. When it rains on the hot side, it becomes magma. Yet when it goes to the cold side, which is negative 350 degrees Fahrenheit, mind you, it instantly freezes into rocks and can become so big that they damage the ice surface on the ground. Number 3. Trays 2b. Out there in the universe right now is a planet that has such a dense and unique composition that it doesn't reflect any light that's projected at it, making it a literal dark world. This planet is known as Trays 2b. Trays 2b is so dark and so non-reflective that it's documented as the darkest planet ever observed. David Kipping from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics said the following about the planet. Being less reflective than coal or even the blackest acrylic paint, this makes it by far the darkest planet ever discovered. If we could look up and see it close, it would look like a near black ball of gas with a slight glowing red tinge to it a true exotic amongst exoplanets. How the planet is that non-reflective is still a mystery, not the least of which is because it's very far from Earth and thus we can only observe it via photos from spacecraft and satellites. Progress has been made though in formulating a theory. Scientists have been able to deduce that the atmosphere of the planet is full of materials that actually absorb light and thus doesn't make it reflect. Yet how it does this so perfectly is still up for debate. Just as much of a debate is whether Trays 2b is the only one of its kind out there in the universe. Number 2. J1407b Saturn is one of the most recognizable planets in our solar system because of its beautiful and large rings. But after searching certain parts of the universe, we found that there is a planet now referred to as Super Saturn. And it is one that has rings that are much bigger than Saturn's in every way. This planet is called J1407b. Most scientists agree that the most astonishing thing about J1407b is this Super Saturn has rings that are 200 times the size of the rings of our Saturn. In total length, they are 75 million miles long. However, despite their massive size, their number is actually rather small in comparison, as J1407b only has 37 rings in total. Yet that means that each one is large in every sense of the word. And yet, there are some who state that the rings might not be rings at all. Rather, they might be the formation of moons that are visible via the past they're taking to form. This theory comes from UR physics and astronomy professor Eric Mamajek, who says, This is probably the first indirect evidence we have of moons forming around planets outside of our solar system. And that has never been seen before. And number one, Earth. When looked at from a scientific point of view, Earth is by and large one of the weirdest planets in the universe. This is simply because that right now, as of this moment, it is the only planet in the universe that we have found that not only can sustain life, but actually has life living on it. The quest to find another Earth has been going on for decades, and many Earth-like planets have been discovered in one form or another. 
and yet none of them are as developed as Earth, and none that we have found have even a trace of life on them. Many have noticed this and asked the obvious question, why are we so special? The debate about what is out there is one that has been combated for numerous years. And yet, whether you believe in life on other planets or not, it all comes back to that question. Why are we so special? What is it about Earth that makes us so unique to have life? This question is magnified when you consider that over the course of billions of years, life has not only evolved on our planet, but survived. It's thrived even, in spite of numerous extinction-level events that could have taken all life away from the planet, it endured. Another question is that of placement. As shown via our own solar system, the Earth is perfectly placed in terms of the effects of the Sun. If we were closer to the Sun, we would be like Venus or Mercury, bombarded with solar rays and having lots of greenhouse gases or worse, being a scorched surface. And if we were farther away, like Mars, it would be too cold to live. So the Earth not only has life, but it's in this perfect Goldilocks zone, a rare and unique planet if ever there was one. Thanks for watching! What do you think of these amazing and bizarre planets? Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time!